KMPH is halted. Someone in chat just dropped that. KMPH is halted. That's the biotech stock that VB mentioned on the biotech pulse. Great, great show that you got to tune into. Benzinga only, Benzinga live stream. We are talking about rare Charizard patterns today. The high tight flag. Flag, flag, flag. Like, all right. This pattern is a beast. Why? Because it has upside potential of about 100%. About 100%. Can one of you guys call my broker and tell him to buy some KMPH while I'm doing this? That would be great. That would be that would be uh, extremely helpful. I love you guys. High tight flag. High tight flag. The stock that I'm looking at right now is NMMM. It is already broken out. I bought calls on it. I bought shares of it and it's going. All right. So we're looking at the weekly right now. Why am I looking at the weekly? The weekly I don't normally look at, but guys, guys, get your eyeballs. You got KMPH, you got NMM to look at this morning. NMM not halted. All right. KMPH lovers can still be traded. What we look at in a high tight flag is basically a poll that's a hundred percent growth. And then a corrective phase that's going trading sideways where it doesn't sell off after 100%. Why is that special? Because usually after a stock shoots up 100%, that means that institutional buyers bought a buttload of it. And then they're going to take their profit at that point. And then usually it rebounds back down. That's why folks like Luke Jacoby, he learned his lesson on this. He actually got burnt. But when he sees a stock go up like 100% or something, like really quickly, especially if it's got gaps, he will sometimes, if I'm not mistaken, I believe that he will buy puts on it. At any rate, this is NMM, Neil Mama Mama, Neil Mama Mama, okay? Um, that we're looking at. And you should be able to see it kind of in the background here. All right, so I'm using the weekly because we want to see a 100% move up over four to eight weeks, which we have. I already counted it for you, all right? I'm not gonna do it again. It corrects size. Sideways, meaning we get up on this pole, <laughs> get up on that pole, and make that money. And then we have a pivot point right here. And then it starts to move sideways instead of straight up, right? For three to five weeks. And what do we got here, folks? We are looking at the weekly. We got three weeks. Okay. Volume declining during this period. Yes. All right. Why is this happening? What is the psychology behind this pattern that we're talking about? The high and tight flag. The psychology is that institutional money the big the big money that really moves stocks bought a ton of it and then decided they didn't want to sell off. They still want to keep it. So when it's trading sideways like this and consolidating, it's highly likely they're going to buy up more. They're still accumulating, right? That's the, the technical term. We're in a, in a strong accumulation phase. So looking at this pattern on the weeklies, we can see it meets the first two criteria. 100% move over four to eight weeks, and then a correct sideways for three to five. It's Here it's three, arguably four, depending on what you consider the pivot on the pattern. All right, so I've drawn a box on this, which is going to make more sense when I go to the daily. That's a flag baby. That's just a plain old bullish flag, rectangular apple pie flag. We love it. Why? Because it makes it very, very clear where the breakout point should be with a solid horizontal resistance as opposed to a sloping resistance, which makes it harder to say what is the breakout point. When we're looking at this, I'm distracted. Jer Jeremy, only 3.37% are held by institutions. Not sure if I believe that completely. Um, that might That's probably coming from 13F filings, which, which are only every quarter. So that might change when we see the, the next 13F filings. I'm assuming you're using whale, whale wisdom. Good drop, though. Thank you, Jeremy, for the information. I wonder. I would be very interested to see what whale wisdom says at the next filing, filing period. At any rate, looking at this thing, we're still a high anti flag, guys. Still a high anti flag, and it's going. Look at this next candle. Right now, we've got the dailies. We are opening up high midway through the top of the wick on the stock, and it's strong. We're looking green, which is fantastic. On a generally, let me just look at my ETF holdings. Red day. All right. We've got some strong divergence on this. This is NMM. This is a shipping, shipping stock. All right. High tight flag. Let's talk about price target, guys. Price target, as always, guys, when we got the flag, is the height of the pole added to the breakout point. Holy cannoli. Let's get our little uh, ruler. God dang. God dang. Should we wait to see earnings? Here's my belief on earnings. If you're setting a stop loss properly, which I'm going to tell you how to set a stop loss for this, earnings should be, not be a major distraction for you because the primary thing that you're looking at is what's in the chart. And what I'm going to add to that is that the people that are researching these stocks, the institutional money that's in this stocks, there are t there's a team of people at a bunch of different firms that are dedicated to understanding this sector and this particular company. They pay analysts to research the management of the company, to research the entire market, to understand how this company is doing to the point where they know as well, if not better, the outlook for the organization than the company does itself. So when we talk about earnings, that is another thing that's happening outside of the price pattern that's baked into the price. 
That's baked into the chart. That's why what technical analysis assumes. The first basic assumption of technical analysis is that the market has all of this information baked in to their buying and selling decisions and that manifests as patterns and price behavior on a chart. So yes, this is one hell of a pull. So buy point is the high point of the flag, which is the top of this little white rectangle that I've drawn for you, which right here is about $18.99 plus 10 cents. So we're looking at something more like $19 and some change. All right, not bad, but it's already broken out, guys. It's already broken out. So I bought yesterday at close when it had already broken out. Why? Because high tech flags have so much potential to go. The target sell, the first one, the first target price is 50% of the pull or the first target sale is 50% is of the pull. So I can eyeball this pretty easily and just draw a horizontal line halfway down here around 25 bucks is our conservative price target for this thing to go. And it's it's looking like a ripper. Then the aggressive price target is the top of the pole, which is about 31, 31 bucks. Rare pattern, very rare pattern. Watch for it. When stocks rip, and look at this one ripping off what looks like a double bottom. When stocks rip, watch for a high tight consolidation using our weekly charts. Okay. So it all starts with weekly. If it occurred over the course of four to eight weeks and it was a 100% minimum move, you might be looking at a high tight flag. And then the stop loss, there's two ways. So, so I did some research on this before the show this morning. I looked at a bunch of different basically authors takes on it. And there's a couple ways of looking at it. A very simple one is just a stop loss of seven or 8% less than where you entered at. That's pretty consistent across any type of trade. Any type of breakout trade, folks will say seven or eight percent. Another way that which I don't have here. Wait, why didn't I, why didn't I have this here? But another one is just previous price support, guys. Just look at the chart. It is a percentage thing; doesn't apply in every situation. We're just looking at previous support, so we can see that we found support right here. So if I draw a line, we can see that support was found right about here, which lines up not too bad with the body of this candle and the lower body of this candle. So I would say a stop loss of about sixteen seventy seven um, is not bad, but it's already up guys. So with it already being up, my stop loss will be raised as with all of these raise your stop loss as you go as you ride it up um, and just use previous uh, support as your stop loss. Does that make sense? Well, who put that up on screen? Hit the like to help us get him into a rat's... What? Guys, we need like... Guys, you guys are crazy. We need like 800 likes to get me to wear a rat suit. I don't think it's possible. So that's your high tight flag, guys. NMM. -M -M. 